go. It's time for another video, I guess. All right. Hello, my YouTube friends. Today, we're gonna be talking about Uno. I'm gonna let you know what Uno is, and of course, it's totally free. I'm gonna let you know exactly how to use Uno. I'm gonna tell you about their new affiliate program, and I'm gonna tell you how you can join their Discord to help the direction of which way you wanna see Uno go. And while all that sounds fun, you're not gonna believe what you can do with Uno. Now that was a ride. You can keep track of it with this. Super simple but great looking things like this logo spinner right here are things that you can create with lower thirds and all kinds of awesome stuff. We have a lot to get to so you know what? Let's get to it! So what is Uno? Well the long and short of it is they make overlays. They're owned by the company that actually makes pretty much every overlay that you've ever seen on TV, from sports, to news, to anything else that provides any kind of information on the screen. If you see it on TV, they've made it. A very professional company. However, Uno is the passion project of some of the folks from that company. They really wanna bring those types of professional overlays to you for free. And that's why I'm really pretty passionate about Uno, because you're really not going to get any better than what you're going to find here. But don't take my word for it. There is a link in the description down below so you could check it out for yourself and maybe even follow along because I'm going to show you how to use it. So go ahead and click it and let's dive right in and I'll show you everything you need to know about Uno. Here is the landing page for Uno and you're gonna to wanna to sign up or log in. If you don't have a sign up or a login, then it doesn't save the settings that you might change for your overlays. And it doesn't cost anything. So just go ahead and sign up or log in. I'm gonna go ahead and log in. I'm just gonna use my Google. Now the reason why Uno is free is because it has all these little sponsor ads on the right hand side. So if you sign in or sign up, you're still gonna have these over here unless you get the plus. Now, what do you get in the Uno Plus? Well, pretty much nothing that's specifically important. You support Uno. Um, you do get a little extra image storage. None of that really matters. You're not gonna need that. The only thing you're really gonna be loading up here are small images anyways. You're not likely to go over the 25 megabytes of storage. So getting Uno Plus just removes these ads and makes you feel good about supporting a company. So when I log in, you'll notice my ads disappear because I do have Uno Plus. So when we go over to our library, we're not seeing any ads. So that's the only real big difference. Now when you sign in, that means you're gonna have this My Overlays thing and you can come over here and you have all the overlays that you might've used in the past. And it's gonna save the settings and the colors and all that stuff if you change that up. So if I were to go in here to my looping overlay, you're gonna see that it already has the same stuff that we put in that I used in the intro. We've got the Uno logo, we've got the Osba logo, we have my logo. If you don't sign in, it's not gonna keep the these things save. We could turn them on and off super easy. All the customizations, so let's say I wanted my outline to be a different color, that's gonna be changed and saved because we signed in. Now all you have to do once you set this stuff up and all this is is really you just click here and you upload an image and then it saves the image. It displays for five seconds and rotates it around. So how do you add something like this to your OBS? You just go up here and you copy the URL. You go into OBS and we just click the plus under sources for the scenes we want to add it to. We go to browser and we can call this one sponsors and click OK. And we just drop that link in here. We put in here the resolution for our live stream. And there is no audio, so we don't need to click anything there. Boom. And now our spinner is up here. And we can easily control this from anywhere we want. It has this little control right here. You could scan it with your phone and bring up the control panel on your phone. It looks just like this. 
We can turn it on and off just like that. And what sort of customizations that you have, uh, they're gonna be different for every single one, but we can move our layout around. So let's turn it on. We can move our layout around. Some of them have different ways that you could do the layout. So it really depends on the type of overlay that you're using. But this particular one has set layouts in a bunch of different positions. Uh, and then you can also edit it by going in here and adjusting where you want it and all that stuff. And then we can adjust the brightness and opacity contrast and saturation of the images that we load up and that's what's on this one and of course the background every one is gonna have different settings then if we go over here into settings we can turn it on and off on the preview window we can adjust the theme here to dark and light and we could set up how many panels we have so we can have like three different setups here if we had this spinner for one stream we could go to preset panel number two set up a totally different one for another stream. So what types of overlays do you have? Let's go into the library. And you've got all kinds of types and filters and functions and that sort of stuff over here. There are some really cool new stuff. Like if we go over here, we could see that there are actually a couple of these that are in portrait. So if you stream in vertical, you've got a couple of easy ones. These are social media pop-ups and lower third pop-ups. Right here under categories, they have things like just chatting, really simple layouts that you might need for just chatting. They got their countdown in here. These are all totally customizable, meaning you can change the colors and everything that you could possibly want. A lot of these are sports tickers and that sort of stuff, and you can configure them in all kinds of different ways. When you see the word bug here, what that means is it's kind of like a little app. Some of these actually connect externally like this weather bug connects to nitrogen, so it will feed the weather information in there so you don't have to. Things like time, weather. We've got some full screen, which is, you know, like your timers, that sort of stuff. This is like positional for soccer. Here's the leaderboard one that you saw me use before. Image loop, basically. This is what I use right here to do the sponsor one, but you could do slideshows. They look a little different. This one has text, this one's just clean. Lower thirds, exactly what they say they are right here. Here's a social media looper lower third. You can pretty much set it up for whatever you want. So Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. You can put all your stuff in there. And they have lots of different ones that are specific to that. I really like the package. The package is a full set of all kinds of different features in the overlay. Like if you look at this one, it gives you the two boxes for the different people. It also gives you the live ticker down at the bottom. It also gives you lower thirds down here with the names on them and everything like that. So that's what the packages are. They have a little more features that combine a bunch of different ones into one. And it has this three box right here with the same kind of thing. It has the lower third tickers, all kinds of little boxes that come up. So the packages are pretty cool, especially if you're going to be streaming with guests or something like that. But then they have, you know, these are professional things that were created for actual places like CNN and stuff like that. So they've got an election pack. They've got these that have a bunch of different ones that you may use. So this combines a bunch of different ones with the exact same look. So we've got the live ticker down here, we got the listicle over here, and we've got the lower third down here. And so every one of these just combines a bunch of the different ones into one package. I think these are very, very helpful because then you don't have to basically have different ones that you create uh, and modify. All of these are gonna have a consistent look if you use the package. And then the panel right here, is basically what you would think. A different panel that performs different functions. I used a panel like this in my intro to list out the things I was gonna talk about. I believe I used this one right here. So how do you set something like that up? Well, it's pretty easy. Let's go over into my overlays. We can just go into our talking points that I set up for the video right here. If we go into talking points, we can turn them on or off right here and see. Right down here, we've got a list of the things that we want. We can add and remove as many of these as we like. We can set up the title as well. 
so it's very easy if we go over here we could create new ones or add new slots all we have to do to change the topic is just adjust the button right here but we could also download the stream deck plugin and use this on our stream deck so we can basically switch it using that if we want to we can customize pretty much everything in here we can just use standard setups right here for the overlay so I could change it up like that. So it has preset colors and all that sort of stuff that you can just use right out of the box. Or you could do what I did, which was customize them so it looks like how I want them to look. And once again, in settings, it's pretty much standard. You can turn your preview window on and off. You could change the light and dark theme and set out the number of panels you have. In order to load this, you just copy the URL. You go into your OBS. We'll just go ahead and click here and go to browser and this one is our list and we just paste it in here put in our resolution click ok and there we go it comes right up you can see it's over top of the other one so we go in here to customize and just move it over to the other side and when we come back in here you see it automatically moves to the other side we'll go in here and we can adjust our talking points and boom so every one of these is going to work basically just like this you load it up right here if you want to control it on your phone you can click here and it'll bring up this and you just scan it bring it up on your phone and then you can basically just sit here and control this makes it really really easy to not have to use the computer at all really um, you can also share that with someone else who can then manage your stream from anywhere they could just change it for you on their device. And then, of course, you can add the passkey token to your Stream Deck and use the Stream Deck to control any of these as well. Now, they have added something called Output Settings. This is pretty cool. If we go in here, we can change from Landscape to Vertical if there is a vertical variant. But the other thing is we can change the background color. So if you find transparent isn't really working well for you, you can do it in chroma green. And then if we apply it, what that does is it adds a green background to it so that you can chroma it out if you want. Now, you have to change the URL. So what we're going to do is go into our output settings. We're going to copy that URL and we'll go back in here. And what we're going to do is go to our list properties and we're going to change this to that background URL and there you go so now we could chroma that out by going into our filters and clicking plus and chroma and boom close uh, it's basically the same thing but some people may struggle with the actual transparent background or if you're trying to use this in another application that doesn't do transparent, then you can easily fix that problem by just going and adding a green screen. Now it also does other than the green screen, it does the chroma blue. You could do black, white, green, blue, whatever. So there's lots of different things that you can do with the output settings that are completely new. Let's get all the options that we can, right? Now I could spend pretty much all day long going through all of the different types of overlays that you're going to find in here. There are plenty of scoreboards for just about any sport that you could think of. There are lots and lots and lots of tickers for social media or news type broadcasts or just fun stuff that you can do down here. If you've seen it professionally on live TV, you're going to be able to find it here configure it how you want and do all kinds of cool stuff like this zombie ticker right here i mean that could be great for doing video gaming and that sort of stuff so they don't just have professional stuff for folks who are trying to stream news or whatever they have stuff for gamers and that sort of thing as well just got to kind of look through it i love this effects you can add these to any of your stuff so we can add a snow effect or a light leak or particle effect I really like the effects. I'd love to see them do more. And the key here is they have a Discord that you can join and offer up suggestions as to what you would like to see them do. Now you can find the Discord right on their page right here. You just click on there. It's going to add you to their Discords and boom, you're in. You could go in here and communicate 
and participate and make Uno what you want it to be. Now, if you want the Stream Deck plugin, you load that up right here. It just downloads the plugin. It's really, really easy to use. Basically, download, drag and drop the Stream Deck buttons, paste the overlay token, and select the action. It's really that easy. Now, the one other thing that I wanted to mention, if we go into how it works and we go to resources, we could see that there are affiliate links. And that means you can make a little bit of extra money, you know, if you recommend using Uno and people actually sign up for Plus. Now, like I said, you don't really get anything extra in Plus. It just kind of helps to support Uno. So for every sign up, you get 10 cents. And if somebody subscribes, you get 10% of that subscription revenue and you can cash out at 50 bucks. This is a great place to learn about how to talk about affiliates and affiliate links for something that's really easy, really inexpensive and really usable, even if you don't sign up, but you just use it totally free. So why not? And if you actually use Uno in your live streams, people might be asking, wow, how did you get those absolutely amazing overlays? How did you get that cool ticker that changes at the bottom or the social media ticker or whatever? You can easily say, well, I use Uno. So check it out down below in the links. It's just a really easy way to get started in affiliate marketing for anyone who live streams and uses Uno. And why wouldn't you use Uno? It's totally free. It's absolutely created by professionals for anyone and it's easy to use and it always works and can be controlled by anyone from anywhere. So even a remote producer can help you on your stream and they don't have to be sitting right next to you or in your house. A remote producer could easily change the bullet points for this in this video thing right here, or they could change some of the logos in there live while I'm talking. It's really, really awesome stuff. I told you it was awesome. There are so many cool things that you can do with it, but I wanna know what you think. So let me know about it down in the comments. Now, if you can't find the overlays that you're looking for, you can easily hit up Uno on Discord and ask them for what you want. But of course, if you wanna build it yourself, you can always check this video out right here. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.